。おはよう。おはよう。Welcome to the So Japanese Podcast, a podcast where we talk about all things Japanese. My name is Ruske. My name is John. The point of this podcast is to hopefully guide you through everything that is uniquely Japanese. Yeah, with every single topics, and then we're gonna talk about what's family resu. Yeah, so today's topics is、uh, family resu. Yeah, what's family resu? So family resu is basically family restaurant, but As you guys know, Japanese people love to make shorter name, so everybody call family resu for family restaurant. And the funny part, the family resu doesn't even for family people.、It's、yeah, not necessarily. Not necessary. Of course, family goes, but I'll say, as a Japanese, when I was in Japan. When we go for miresu, because there's a space, big space, big space, and then affordable, affordable,、right. and different variety of food, right? So we're gonna、uh, pick three different restaurant, family resu, family resu. Uh, one is called Gasto. It's one of biggest chain in Japan. For sure, you see everywhere. Maybe not in the city, a little bit more countryside, or just in the suburbs. In the yeah. Suburbs. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one we're gonna talk about Caesaria. That's、mm-hmm. the one of biggest Italian family restaurant chain in Japan. And then the other one we're gonna talk about Kura Sushi, which is you guys. I guess you guys heard before about Combeer Sushi. Restaurant, and then、uh, I know there's bunch of different sushi restaurant, but we're just gonna focus on Kura Sushi because if we pick and it's gonna be for two or three hours、uh, topic, we can talk, and then I don't think you guys wanna listen that long. So, so、um, with the three that we chose,、mm-hmm. or even all family resus, what's common among them?、Uh, so first is cheap. Cheap, affordable, affordable, and then big space. Big space、um, allows for strollers or kids running around. Yeah,、right? yeah. Big parties. Yep.、Yeah. Right.、Uh, another common thing is drink bar. Drink bar. Yes. Drink bar is kind of unique. I. It. It. Okay. In, I think in, old school in like、uh, North American restaurants,、mm-hmm. it was common. Oh really? Yeah,、like、I know McDonald and then like all burger chain they have the drink machine. Then you go fill up by yourself. So as IKEA, I remember, but it's not same. It's not the same. The Japanese drink bars are、uh, way better. Yeah. So yeah. normally you would pay like two hundred, three hundred yen. Yen. And、yeah. it's all you can drink, but you、yeah. have to help yourself. You go over to the drink station.、Mm-hmm. They have clean mugs. Mm-hmm. Clean glasses、mm-hmm. and、uh, normally, normally all soft drinks. Yeah, all types of tea, tea, coffee. coffee. Yeah, yeah. So, hopefully, you guys go there and then you guys can have those. But yeah, and in general, all restaurants in Japan、mm-hmm. uh, are no tipping. No tip. You、yeah. don't have to tip. You don't have to tip. Even if when they give you the bill, and they give you change, and you leave the change or you leave whatever, and、mm-hmm. then you leave, they'll chase you down. Yeah. And give the money back. Yeah. To you. Yeah. It's a a no tipping culture, which is no、nice. tipping culture. Because I know, when I was in Japan working for the restaurant,、uh, one of my server, she came to me and then she said like,、oh, the customer leave the change,、mm-hmm. and then like. Yeah, and she 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 knew they're a foreigner customer,、mm-hmm. and then it's like I don't know what to do, and I'm like, that's the tip for、mm-hmm. you、mm-hmm. because you did a good service,、mm-hmm. and then they give you money. 
mm-hmm. for the service uh, fee. And she was like, oh, so is this for me? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, take it, take it. Yeah, we're not going to take it. I was the manager, so I was like, we're not going to put this in the, the cashier machine. This is for you. Anyway, so. As well as um, service buttons. So yep. every table, every section, every booth yep. has um, a little button where you press for service. Yep. So it's not like North American restaurants where the servers are roaming around and seeing if you need service. Mm-hmm. Um, they only come to you when they are called upon by pressing the button. And yep. normally it makes a sound. Yeah. So yeah, let's, uh, for example, for Gasto, when you go in and then you're going to wait, the server is going to come to you and then they're going to take you the table whenever you want, basically, if it's available. And also, uh, they have a smoking space and an unsmoking space before. I'm not sure right now. But anyway, just if you don't like smoking, obviously, be aware and then make sure you can check online, I guess. What type of cuisine does uh, Gusto serve? Uh, so, Gusto serve uh, called Yoshoku. What's Yoshoku? Yoshoku is basically Japanese people take the cooking idea from French, and then for, for-, for- from foreign foods. Foreign foods, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just French, sorry. Yeah, some some stuff are Portuguese, but whatever, right? And then. Uh, they make a uh, omurice hamburger. So, um, omurice is borrowed from it's a egg omelet over fried rice. Yeah, and that's borrowed from the French. Yeah, we have um, what else? Neapolitan pasta. Yeah, Napolitan. Yeah, from <laughs> Napolitan. Napolitan pasta. Yeah, obviously Italian. Italian. We have um, Hamburg. Hamburg mm-hmm. is Hamburg. Uh, yeah, Hamburg. Hamburg yeah. is German, I guess. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's a hamburger patty. Yes. But without the bun. It's not you don't eat it like a handheld no. burger. So normally they come with the sizzling plate. Okay. With uh some side dish like fried potato or some potato with a uh, little bit of veggies. Mm-hmm. And then either you can order rice mm-hmm. or bread. Okay. And then maybe there's an option you can put soup, corn soup, or whatever, the seasonal soup. So that's the one dish. Hamburg normally has um, sauce, right? Yeah. Like Demi glass. Demi glass. Or, pepper, or pepper sauce. Pepper sauce. Or ponzu with uh, the grated daikon, like a, we call wafu, mm-hmm. which is Japanese style, but it's also traditional. So just for the listeners, what other, um, we'll give a couple more examples of uh, Yoshoku cuisine mm-hmm. items. Mm-hmm. So curry rice. Yep. I guess Indian, but I think they borrowed it from the English. We mm-hmm. have koroke. Koroke. Yep. French croquettes. Yep. Potato, deep fried uh, potato, mashed potato. Breaded. Breaded. Yeah. Yep. Fried. Uh, nice. Katsu would be yep. like schnitzel. I would say so, yeah. And um, another one is Doria. Yep. Doria, what's Doria? Well, Doria, Doria is actually, well, I know uh, Gasto has, but I mentioned the Saizeria. That's mm-hmm. the most famous dish. It's called Mira- Miranofu Doria. Uh, Doria from Milan. I guess. <laughs> but so what is it? Just rice? Rice? And like bechamel? and bechamel uh-huh. and uh, meat sauce or like some type of red sauce like tomato based okay. sauce and then bunch of cheese on top and uh, what's the call uh, it's not coconut but the baking tray okay and then they bake them they bake it melt the cheese melt nice the and cheese golden brown yeah and yeah it's... so yeah these are just some examples of um, yoshoku cuisine mm-hmm it's become a thing where it's its own food now. So if you ask a Japanese person mm-hmm. when they're having curry rice, they mm-hmm. don't think that it's 
Indian, Indian inspired. No. It's become its own Japanese food, yeah. right? Same like with katsu. Katsu is yep. its own thing now. Even though it's inspired by schnitzel,、mm-hmm. it's its own thing. The Japanese has made it its own thing. Yeah. Also, as you guys know, Japanese people eat a lot of rice. So basically, all the food is good with rice. Yes, yes. We always have rice、yes. with the main dish. That's、exactly. what hamburg is saying.、Uh, curry rice has rice. Korokke, yes, we can eat with rice. Yeah. Katsu. Katsu, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Doria, like we say,、mm-hmm. rice in there. Yeah, even for the omelet rice, right? It's an omelet, but on rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And only, only the Napolitan, the ketchup,、uh, fried,、uh, pan fried ketchup spaghetti, basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Italians, yeah, the Italians.、Uh, <laughs> but I, I, the nonas will get so angry. <laughs> yeah, they, they think it's no, it's gross. Obviously, but it's its own thing. It's yeah, its own but, thing. Yeah. What I read from the article, it says actually from、uh, the US base, when someone sees、okay. the military people, US、yes. base military people were eating、yeah. spaghetti、mm-hmm. with ketchup. Yes, yes. So they get the idea,、mm-hmm. then and they, they switch to better. Well, they're looking for a red sauce, tomato sauce. What do they have?、Uh, ketchup. Exactly. It's、yeah. really common for Asian countries to use、uh, ketchup. ketchup, though. Yeah,、like、yeah, yeah. yeah. Like、uh, in Thailand, they have a American fried rice,、mm-hmm. and it's fried rice fried with ketchup. Ketchup? Because、yeah. it's American. Yeah. Speaking of、um, food that's inspired by US military bases in Japan,、mm-hmm. taco rice. Right. Taco、that's、rice very, is one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the story? The story was like soldiers went to like, a Japanese restaurant asking for tacos. Then, then. they're like, what is this? And then they, and they just switch to rice.、Yeah. So. so instead of taco shells, it's all the taco <laughs> fillings on top of rice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sour cream, minced meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lettuce, yeah. Tomato, yeah. It's cheese. It's good, though. Oh, super good. Yeah. Super good. Yeah. So I'll say all these f o o d are very、uh, comf- comfort food. Comf-、yeah. Comfort food. It's、yeah. definitely comfort food. Yeah.、Yes. So, like, every single Japanese people know. For sure, they eat once.、Mm-hmm. And then we always miss that type of food. That's why the food is served at family restaurants. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, so that was the gasto. They have those food. They specialize I, in Yoshoku cuisine. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if they have now or no. When I was a teenager, I go there and I always order、uh, Yamamori potato,、mm-hmm. which、What's、is.、That? A、uh, big bowl of fries. Okay. It's like 300 yen. Okay. That time, I, I think more expensive now. But、uh, I don't know. If you like fries, I recommend you to order that too. It's kind of tasty. And then. What's special about it?、Anything? Nothing. It's, It's just cheap、fries. and then fill it. Okay. You know? Not even like. What? Seasoned differently? No, no place, just、no? the soul. But、okay. uh, we always ask. Uh, the server, like, can I get ketchup and then、uh, mayo?、Uh-huh. Then、uh, we put、uh, black pepper in it、uh-huh. and making like special aioli sauce. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and again, ketchup, of course. And uh, uh, the gasto actually has also udon. Yeah, okay, so it has salad Japanese food. udon. Like, it's、yeah. some Japanese as well.、Mm-hmm. So I guess. All comfort food. All, All Japanese comfort, comfort food. food. And then for sure, you're going to find some good stuff. And then they also have like seasonal special dish、mm-hmm. every winter, fall, because、mm-hmm. you know, Japan has four seasons, right? And、uh, these restaurants, Family Rezus, have a kid's menu. They all have kids. Yeah.、Menu. Yeah. And then they have the kid's chair. What's、mm-hmm. it called? The high chair? High chair. Yeah, they have、uh-huh. high chair. So, it's very kids friendly, which、mm-hmm. means like good for family.、Mm-hmm. And yeah, like again, affordable. So, it won't cost you so much. Okay. So, next one is Saizeria. Yeah. Saizeria. I know a lot of. So, this is the same、uh, style. It's big space. And then it's all. We, can we say box seat? Yeah, booths. Booths? Yeah. So, they, they separate all individual booths. So, you have your not 100% like 
privacy, but it's very comfortable mm-hmm. to stay. And then the food is really cheap. Mm-hmm. Like what we say, the Doria, the Milano food Doria. When I was there, it was like less than 400 yen. Mm-hmm. So I would say like what? Less than four, four bucks. Yeah. And if you order that by yourself and then you're not big eater, mm-hmm. for sure it's enough. Keep in mind though, Japanese portion size. Exactly. Exactly. Are smaller. Uh, yeah. But still, not like tiny. No. And, and again, because it's cheap, you can still order all the other stuff. They have pizza and uh, they spaghetti. have spaghetti, pasta. And then they're actually a little bit more focused on Italian. So. Yeah, it's an Italian restaurant. Yeah. yeah. So compared to Gasto, the pasta wise, I mean, Italian food wise, a mm-hmm. little bit more high end. Mm-hmm. It's not high, high, mm-hmm. but yeah, this is all affordable, accessible exactly, food, right? Exactly. And then I heard because Caesarea, they own the factory in Italy. They oh, even make their own wine. Okay. They make their own olive oil. Okay. So basically they make everything overseas mm-hmm. and then bring it to them. Mm-hmm. That's why the cost is way cheap. Right. Yeah, I remember they sell wine by the glass there and it was like so super no cheap. they like, sell wine by uh, uh the box <laughs> no the what's the call uh decanter decanter mm-hmm. i think decanter wine is like seven eight hundred yen mm-hmm. so i know a lot of people they go there mm-hmm. and they they pretend it's nice italian restaurant mm-hmm. and then they enjoy wine mm-hmm. they have even uh prosciutto yes and they have like nice uh bread mm-hmm. they have even escargot yeah it's actually good mm-hmm. i think that was my first time i tried escargot okay. in my life mm-hmm. i was like gross but then eat of course garlic butter it's good right so i like the place and then they obviously has the uh drink bar mm-hmm. and this is both same gasto size area they should open 24 mm-hmm. 7. so if you want to go somewhere and then there's no way to go you can go there you can order a drink bar maybe some snack they're not gonna kick you out mm-hmm. as long as you order something do not bring some food and eat there because that's no mm-hmm. uh uh, to me, that's not cool. So please, please respect the, the you know, uh, service and business. I think with Japanese customer service, they don't really, uh, they don't kick you out anyway. They don't. You no. Know, like I remember working at the bar and um, even though we close at 1, uh, one o'clock, mm-hmm. 1 a.m., mm-hmm. if customers are still there, 2, 3, 4, 5 a.m., Mm-hmm. It's just not a thing. Japanese no. people, no, they don't kick customers out. No, because, because, uh, yeah, it's the food, food business. You're not gonna kick them out anyway. Or so. like in Western, in North American um, restaurants, if you're if the customer stays beyond closing time, mm-hmm. they'll turn off the lights, mm-hmm. start brush. Start <laughs> put all the chairs around up. your legs, yeah, putting yeah, all the yeah, chairs yeah. up. Basically you get the like, idea. Yeah, basically they get out. But in Japan, they don't do that. They don't do that. Yeah. So as a foreigner, mm-hmm. Gusto in Caesarea, mm-hmm. the times that I've been, mm-hmm. I never see gaijins in there. So oh, it's no. a very Japanese-centric, comfort food, nostalgic yep. for Japanese people. But yep. if you're traveling there or if you work there, definitely recommend for you to try it Mm -hmm. right yeah yeah like in north america tji fridays yeah right 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 in canada jack astor's Mm -hmm. that would be like the family restaurants we think about type but definitely you should try the japanese versions of family family restaurant family Family yes and uh just be aware maybe if you want to go you should check online website if they have English menu or no. But also, yeah, I want to tell this. So all the menu has picture. Mm-hmm. And it's then, very common in Japan. Yeah. So like 
you have the idea what are you gonna get and normally like, the food that comes to your table looks exactly the same exactly same yeah. so yeah. like they won't surprise you no and then if you don't speak japanese then mm -hmm. you don't lead but there's still picture mm -hmm. so you can just point that and then like can i have this it's really common as well in japanese restaurants is um they have like plastic molds or plastic displays of the food yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's also common right. i don't think gusto no, saizaria might have maybe on the window no maybe gusto. some stores yeah right? yeah because there i know there are size areas in like the shopping streets mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so if there's a window display you might see um a plastic version yeah yeah of the food and again it looks exactly the same exactly as the real same. food yeah 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 cool all right so Let's the next one about... we're going to talk about is um, Japanese food, actually. Mm -hmm. sushi. sushi. Everybody's favorite, I believe. But, okay. Sushi, it's not about California roll, uh, dragon roll. Yeah, no, those are North American versions of, yeah. of sushi. It's yeah. like fast. It's like Tex-Mex, right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. the Japanese version of it. So, yeah. You won't ever see California rolls. I mean, you, you, you see them mm -hmm. these days, mm -hmm. but again, it's no common. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so Kura Sushi, the sushi restaurant, what they have is sushi, which means they have small rice bowl with uh, raw fish on mm -hmm. top of that. Mm -hmm. So just make sure. But okay the good thing about kura sushi they also have uh cooked fish mm -hmm. or even uh i know they have some like meat on it like mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. korean kalbi mm -hmm. on a sushi rice so even though you don't like fish for sure you, you're gonna find something you can eat yeah and then they, they have even udon have, noodles exactly they have a uh, side dish udon noodles that's art mm -hmm. they i know they have like tempura bowl like mm -hmm. tempura dong mm -hmm. so like the tempura on top of the rice mm -hmm. and then it's very cheap so and for sure it's gonna be fun if you go there why because there's a belt conveyor yeah conveyor belt sushi yes. really common yeah there's many chains that offer that in japan yeah um so with the conveyor belt sushi generally you have two conveyor belts mm-hmm one that's always rotating mm -hmm. and the sushi chefs are continuously loading the conveyor belt mm -hmm. with plates of sushi. Mm -hmm. And um, as it passes by your table, if you like it, you grab one, you grab it and don't but if you touch it. Exactly. Yeah. Say it. <laughs> if you touch it, you have to take it. You can't be like, Oh, actually I don't want this. And you put it back. Yeah. The, sushi restaurant rule if you touch it never put it back that's you know you know you don't want to eat somebody touch this food and then right so like be respect again mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. then the other conveyor belt is um for food that you have ordered so generally in your section at your table in front of you there's like a touch screen that has all the menu items and you can order a la carte as well Mm -hmm. And when you do that conveyor belt, the food goes directly to your table and will stop in front of you. Yeah. And then there's a, some like music, like a sound like, to notify you something. Okay. Yeah. Then so, you know, OK, I got to get my food. Mm -hmm. So if you, yeah, like if you don't want to take any sushi from the conveyor mm -hmm. belt, then, then you can just still order from the touch panel. Like they have like an iPad style touch panel, every single plate, uh, every single table. So sometimes you see maybe like um, a less coveted sushi item going on to the conveyor belt that just keeps moving. Mm -hmm. And you've seen it like five times past mm -hmm. you and, mm -hmm. and the fish is just getting drier yeah, and drier. Yeah, yeah. But I think nowadays they have some like a uh, lit on top yes so yes it's like a career yes. especially with covid yeah. yeah like a dome style mm -hmm. so like it's covered mm -hmm. but still again but the good thing about that because you can actually see it right exactly so like you see the product i mean the food and then like you don't need to take it again 
you just need to remember and then same thing on a touch panel mm-hmm. they they have all picture with it yes i'm not sure if there's english menu but i would say because it's touch probably, panel yeah. you can change to english yeah you can change the language right yeah so or even i would say chinese too for sure because mm-hmm. like we have a lot of uh chinese travelers in japan these days mm-hmm. so yeah and at these conveyor belt sushi restaurants at your table at your section what things do you always find you find green tea powder mm-hmm. and like a hot water hot. spout yeah. for you to make your own green tea yeah obviously soy sauce, soy sauce. Wasabi, wasabi packet wasabi packet pickled ginger pickled ginger chopsticks chopstick wet naps mm-hmm. so it's all help yourself yep so saba is not gonna come into you unless you press the button on help in this case maybe it's on the ipad mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. for help or maybe when you want to pay your bill yeah so yep. to pay your bill at these conveyor belt sushi places how do you do that so for kura sushi they actually have the the hole beside the table it's like a slot yeah all the all the uh soy and then all the stuff there mm-hmm. so you can see the hole and then after you eat you're gonna slot yeah put the plate in the slot put the plate in the slot yeah then so they're gonna count how much you eat mm-hmm. then the good part about kura sushi after five plate and then it you activates have, a game yeah on your touchpad it'll have some animations yeah make some jackpot sounds yeah then if you win and then you get the toy yeah you get a toy a toy comes down in like a plastic ball like yep. a vending machine toy exactly exactly something so, super special but definitely fun for the kids yeah so because it's from the restaurant family lesson too right so, but mm-hmm. also i know some uh adult people they want to actually get the toy as well oh for sure yeah for sure because now i just check and then they have a uh, demon slayer character mm-hmm. very popular now toy and it's very popular so you know that's how they get the customer too right and japanese people love collecting things exactly they love collecting like small things. toy yeah. figures and for mm-hmm. sure like our listeners somebody's collecting figures too for sure for yeah. sure i used to love it no anymore but yeah so kura sushi is mm-hmm. unique by you they calculate your bill by putting mm-hmm. the plates in the slot mm-hmm. some other places mm-hmm. you just stack your plate your plates all on your table and, and then, then you want to pay the bill you call the the server, server the server and will come and they, they just scan s- scan yeah because i guess there's like a chip inside every plate mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh some sushi places they have color-coded plates so different right? price so if you order premium sushi it's a different color plate so they know mm-hmm. akura know. sushi mm-hmm. they don't have the color code system right you said no i don't think so so if you order premium sushi it might be the, two plates that are stacked two plate or maybe like normally you get two piece mm-hmm. but instead of two piece you get one piece mm-hmm. right and then uh so if the plates are stacked you have to take both plates make sure yeah exactly and then uh if you want to order side dish like udon or something else obviously it's no same as the sushi plate i'm talking about kura sushi okay mm-hmm. so like the, in that case you just leave the balls or other type of plate can put in a slot just leave it and then again you put the bill mm-hmm. so they're gonna come to you and then they're gonna count that then they give you the bill mm-hmm. including how much you eat and then put it put the bread in a slot so we should also tell the viewers that japan is a cash-based society still yes i so, mean they take credit card too but uh yeah most of the people they use cash yeah still so yeah but also good thing about japan like it's cheap so if you have like i'll say each man yen which is like a hundred bucks mm-hmm. like and then you go this type of restaurant maybe you spend like two thousand yen yeah so that means like 
all your day, you can eat. You, I mean, you can't spend all the each man for sure. No, yeah, because it's cheap. Yeah, that's the point of family resu. Family resu, exactly. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Yeah. So, please uh, <clears throat> leave us comment or uh, send us message. We're gonna leave the email as well. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah. We're just trying to launch this podcast, so we would appreciate it if you um, follow, subscribe, download wherever you find your podcasts. Yep. And uh, we hope to bring you more information, mm-hmm. give you more tips mm-hmm. on living and working in Japan. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Bye. See you soon. Bye.